British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was under fire Wednesday after a video most of his senior aides joking about holding a Christmas party at Downing Street last year when social gatherings were banned under COVID rules. The government has been accused repeatedly of hypocrisy over breaches of lockdown rules and in a major scandal, Health Secretary Matt Hancock resigned in June after revelations that he broke coronavirus restrictions during an affair with an aide. The video, obtained by broadcaster ITV News, shows Johnson's then press secretary, Alec Chris Stratton, advisor at All Feet, and other staff joking about a fictional party during a rehearsal press conference on December 22 with no media present. In the leaked footage, Stratton is seen answering questions about a Downing Street Christmas party the previous Friday when the alleged rule breaking gathering took place. This fictional party was a business meeting and it was not socially distanced. She loves of joking exchanges about cheese and wine. At that time, London was at a strict COVID restrictions and indoor social gatherings of two or more people were banned. In in response to the video, Downing Street insisted there was no Christmas party. COVID rules have been followed at all times. Keir Starmer, leader of the opposition, Labour Party, blasted the government for its shameful actions at a time when Britain was under lockdown. People across the country followed the rules even when that meant being separated from loved ones. They had a right to expect the government was doing the same. Starmer tweeted with a link to the video. To lie and to laugh about those lies is shameful. We have a Prime Minister who is socially distanced from the truth. The leader of the Scottish National Party, Ian Beckford, said the Prime Minister couldn't be trusted and called for him to resign. Here we have number 10, a government in London breaching its own COVID rules and then joking about it on a video. Blackford told STB News, It really isn't acceptable and I have to see, unfortunately, that on the basis of this behaviour, he should go and he should go now. Some lawmakers from Johnson's Conservative Party also want answers. The number 10 party has all the hallmarks of another Bernard Castle moment. No Thanet MP Roger Gale tweeted, referring to an incident last year when Johnson's then chief aide Dominic Cummings drove hundreds of kilometers during a lockdown, triggering outrage over perceived hypocrisy by the government. Number 10 clearly has some serious questions to answer first. During the mock press conference, Oldfield mentions reports about Downing Street Party and asks, with the Prime Minister condone having a Christmas party, to which Street and sees was the answer. Oldfield says he doesn't know why Downing Street staffer says to laughter that it wasn't a party, it was cheese and wine. COVID-19 bereaved families for justice said it was the behavior of people who think they are a boss. There are simply no words to describe how upsetting and shameful it is to then hear Boris Johnson's team laughing about breaking the rules they had made, whilst others followed by them, and could only say goodbye to their loved ones through a screen. Screen, it said in a statement. News desk, Global. <laughs>